Hi there, and welcome to the Met Office 10 Day Trend. Some southern parts of the UK woke up to a covering of snow on Wednesday morning, but no sooner has the cold air hit the south than the mild air is starting to return from the southwest. Whilst the cold air, as you can see on this temperature graphic for the time of recording, lingers across most of the rest of the UK. And you can see this sharp boundary between the cold Arctic air and this much milder air pushing in. That boundary all the way across the Atlantic and some pretty swirls developing along that boundary as well. You can see on the imagery here, those are associated with areas of low pressure. Low pressure sits at the boundary and as a result, on that boundary, we are seeing some moisture, some precipitation. Rain on the mild side of the boundary, snow on the northern side of the boundary. That is what we saw on Tuesday night with the snow more further south. But over the next few days, that boundary is going to progressively but erratically push north. These areas of low pressure increasingly coming in from the Atlantic, mixing with cold air across northern parts of the UK, bringing spells of rain to the south, bringing spells of snow to more northern parts of the country over the next few days, especially northern hills. And really that trend continues into the start of next week. You can see this remarkable temperature difference across the country. Much milder than normal in the far south, much colder than normal conditions remaining in the far north and in between. Low pressure bringing unsettled weather, spells of rain in the south, some snow in between, especially for northern hills. Another way looking at it, the jet stream. Now, we've mentioned uh, the sudden stratospheric warming that we saw in February quite a lot in recent 10-day uh, trends and deep dives. And so if you want to find out more on that, you can check our YouTube channel. But essentially, the sudden stratospheric warming that we saw in February disrupted the broad scale pattern across the uh, North Atlantic there and helped high pressure to develop across Greenland, helped cold air to push south across the UK and helped the jet stream to become weaker and more south shifted. But what you'll notice is the jet stream over the next few days erratically but eventually pushes a bit further north. It will be very close to the UK throughout the next five days and beyond and it will continue to bring areas of low pressure in from the west. But as that jet stream pushes north, it means that the coldest air will become increasingly confined further north and milder conditions, albeit much more unsettled weather, will begin to affect more southern areas. And that temperature contrast evident as we start off Thursday, 5 degrees or even 8 degrees across some southwestern areas, but below freezing for much of the UK. And after a spell of potentially disruptive snow on Wednesday night, more details on that in our short term forecast, the snow and the rain eases off for a time across central parts of the UK. But the next bout of rain, sleet and snow moves in as we start off Thursday. And again, further snow for parts of Wales, this time mid Wales northwards, especially over the higher ground, into the North Midlands, Northern England and then eventually Northern Ireland. But what you'll notice as well is there's a lot of rain about, heavy showers across some southern parts of the UK through Thursday, wintry flurries into eastern and central Scotland. But in between, a bit of a messy mixture if you're below 100 metres. I think it will be rain or sleet a lot of the time, any snow cover patchy. But above 100 metres, that's where we're expecting the most significant snow to accumulate and there's going to be some very significant deposits, especially for the North uh, Midlands, the Peak District really, north into the North Pennines. That's where there's the risk of 10 to 20 centimetres of snowfall accumulating through Thursday and the early part of Friday. And that includes places like Leeds, Bradford, Sheffield, Wakefield. And in some of the higher, more exposed spots, 20 to 40 centimetres of snowfall, accompanied by strong winds, so risk of blizzards and drifting of the snow. All in all, the ingredients there for a very disruptive period of weather, and that's why there's an amber warning in force. These are the temperatures on Thursday, 2, 3 Celsius, or lower than that over any higher parts where we've got the snow accumulating. But in the south, 11 or 12 Celsius possible, much milder, albeit with a gusty wind. Gales around exposed coasts developing into Friday and some heavy showers. Northern Scotland, meanwhile, continues to see a few snow flurries, but actually a lot of dry and bright weather here. Plenty of sunny skies after temperatures of minus 10 to minus 15 to begin the day. 
More snow showers coming to the north of Scotland on Friday. Elsewhere, plenty of bright weather pushing south, but also we'll see the colder conditions spread south. And as the weather system moves away, the potential for snow to return for other parts of the Midlands, parts of Mid Wales into East Anglia and the southeast, only temporarily before things dry up and brighten up into Friday afternoon. But Friday's going to be feeling cold wherever you are. That cold air now pushing south across the UK, but mild air once again trying to reach in from the Atlantic and trying to push another band of rain in as we start off Saturday. This again moving fairly erratically west to east across the country. And it looks like there could be a few flakes of snow in the southwest, but more especially Wales into northern and central England, Northern Ireland, central and southern Scotland. A chance of some patchy sleet or snow at lower levels, but some significant snow later Saturday across the uh, Peak District into the Pennines, the Southern Uplands especially. So potential for another five to eight centimetres. Well, quite a lot of snow showers affect northern Scotland. Again, five to eight centimetres over the hills here. By Sunday, though, milder air spreads across much of the UK. 13 degrees possible in the south with some bright spells. In between spells of rain and some hill snow eventually easing. And it doesn't stop there. We continue to see this mild south, cold north gradient as we start off next week. And we continue to see areas of low pressure adding moisture to that gradient. Now, Monday's system, there's some uncertainty about the north-south extent of it. And as a result, the uncertainty there about where we're going to see any snow and rain and so on. But it looks most likely to bring a wet day to much of England and Wales, especially over western hills. It's a very significant rain totting up on Monday and Tuesday and uh, strong wind as well. But some snow there for parts of Scotland, especially over hillier parts of Scotland. So really the theme there as we start next week for unsettled conditions with mild air in the south and cold in the north. And this theme continues through the rest of next week. This shows the pressure anomaly from Monday of next week to the following Monday. And it's got a low smack bang over central parts of the UK. And that would suggest an unsettled outlook with spells of wind and rain moving in from the Atlantic. And this from the European model again for the same period shows the most likely temperature anomaly milder than normal in the south, about average across central areas, colder than normal for Scotland. And that would suggest when you add in to the mix the areas of low pressure moving in from the Atlantic, a similar theme throughout next week with uh, spells of wind and rain across southern parts of the UK, northern parts of the UK could be at risk of further snow, especially over northern hills, so the Pennines, southern uplands, the highlands and so on. But for many, I think we're going to go from thinking about snowfall this week to rainfall next week.